Recently, I've looked at a number of videos or YouTube on the internet and uh, I saw things like growing apple trees from seed, uh, pear trees from seed or plums from seed, plum trees from seed. Kind of nonsense really because uh, what you get from seed is crab apples, crabby little apples. You get rock hard pears or little, you know, they're plums all right, but not very good. But to get these quality plums or nice apples or beautiful, wonderful tasting pears, you have to graft the seedlings with the appropriate science. You use the seedlings that you grew from seed as stock and then you graft cyan wood on them and I'll show you that later on. How do you get apple seed? Well, you have to crush a lot of apples actually. Sometimes you can let them rot and you crush them open. There you go, here's your apple seeds. And if you, like I do, live in a colder climate, you prefer these for seed. In other words, crab apples for seed. Slit the seed there, but there's a seed inside there, you see it? If you want pear seed, you can take a pear like this and then cut it in two. There's your pear seed, right there. And if you want plum seed, you just squeeze out the plum and here's the bigger seed. I prefer to use wild plums. Those are plum seeds. They, uh, they're, uh, I dried them off earlier. Those are plum seeds, there's apple seeds and pear seeds. Take the pot. Here's a good potting soil. Here's the plum seed. And you put them in there, an inch or so deep, and um, top it up a little bit. And then you just label this plum seed. That's September 2nd. Now these plums are cold hardy, but I can plant this out in the garden and plant it just below the soil line and with the label sticking up. So I know where it is. This will then vernalize properly outside. In the cold vernalizes the seed. The seed has to be chilled for a long time. And then you bring it in, in the spring, and of the 10, maybe five, six, seven, eight or nine seedlings will pop up. I pull them out and transplant them into individual pots. This is a one year old which I'll graft next spring. It's an apple seedling. I grafted this last spring. This spring I'm in. I always graft low because I live in a cold climate and these are the um, original seedling. I can take them off and eventually I might cut this back and straighten this one up and I plant this by the way as I've said before I plant this the graft at or below the soil surface because if a thing happens in a cold climate especially even in a warm climate, deer, moose, mice, cold, it'll come up from the base. And I always preach that, do you really want to grow an apple tree or an apple bush? I've got apple bushes in my garden with hundreds of pounds of apples on them. And I can reach them all standing on the ground. There's nothing special to growing any fruit tree from seed. At least growing the, the, the stalks from seed with, with plums, apples and pears. Uh, it's very easy. But remember, you have to learn to graft. And grafting again, using the method I've pushed, is very easy. It's not complex. It's very simple. Instructions are simple. And if people want to be self-sufficient and they want to sustain themselves, do it. Grow a lot of your own fruit.